Hi, this is Team 5773 Ink and Metal, and we are presenting our control award video which encompasses our driver controlled enhancements, autonomous paths, and key algorithms in our code. Here is an example of our four ring autonomous in action, and we shoot the three preloaded rings in the high hole, then we do immediately intake three of the rings in the four stack, and shoot one of them, and then get as close as possible to the high goal to ensure consistency of the rings. Then we drop the first wobble goal in the correct drop zone and move in the most efficient manner to get to the second wobble goal, pick it up, drop it in a similar spot, and then move forward to park on the launch line. What allows us to be so efficient during the robot match is the use of odometers. Two parallel odometers and one perpendicular odometer, which work together to determine the robot's position on the field relative to its starting position as well as its angle throughout the match. The first use of odometry in teleop on our robot is automatically returning to the shooting position. In this clip, the robot intakes three rings and with the click of a button, the driver can automatically return to the shooting position, eliminating any room for error. Now let's suppose this position is the robot's starting position and the driver drives back to somewhere in the back of the field. And let's say the driver clicks a button to get back to that position, the robot will do anything to get back to that position using heading and transi translational PID. In order to map out our autonomous paths ahead of time, we used a virtual robot programmed in Kotlin in order to do roadrunner trajectories, which we would later be able to directly translate into our in real life robot. In this year's Autonomous, using computer vision to find the number of rings in the starter stack is crucial. In order to accomplish this, we mounted a Logitech webcam on our robot that uses a custom easy open CV pipeline made via a grip software to return the height of the stack after singling out any other elements in the frame, making it extremely consistent. Here you can see a clip of our outtake shooting three rings in the high goal in less than a second. For this to be possible, we had to do sincere PID tuning where the velocity of the outtake motors is equal to the target velocity. As you can see, the purple line nearly matches the red line always through the use of PID, Proportional Integral Derivative Controller. And although sometimes it is a bit lower, that could simply be just because of voltage issues. Here we have automated our entire power shot process so that there is no room for the drivers to have mistakes. And lastly, here is the driver dropping the wobble goal and through a multi-step algorithm we minimize the number of buttons that the driver has to use.